I'm currently going to school to become a uh, drug counselor. Uh, it's going to be a bachelor's degree in psychology with a concentration in drug and alcohol addiction. I usually spend about two to three hours a day studying. In my day, um, as soon as I get up, I generally try to get to the gym. Uh, once I get back to the gym, I come back here and try to read for about an hour. Uh, there's a lot of reading material that's, that's involved in this degree. Um, start getting ready for work. Uh, I get to work around 4 o'clock. When I get done with work, I'm usually up till about 2 or 3 o'clock um, trying to read, study, and, and finish up my assignments. I'm starting to become a drug counselor because I know what it's like to lose you know, your freedom, your family, and if I can help somebody prevent the things that I've gone through, then you know, that's what I want to do. I want to make a difference in the world. I felt myself slipping when I got out of, of rehab, um, still finding myself in the same positions that I was in. No one in their family was really communicating with him. They sort of written him off. You know, he was doing well and staying clean, but things were catching up with him. He was really struggling. He's like, um, you know, he was very depressed. So um, he reached out to me. You know, so what, what am I going to do? You're the only one in the entire family that will talk to me. And I felt that um, I just had a connection with him. My aunt was a huge contributing factor to where I'm at right now. She took a leap of faith and, and believed in me. I just felt in my heart that I needed to do this, and I just followed my gut and reached out to help him. July 17th of 2015 is is the day that I, I basically left all my past behind me and, and started over. I gave away everything in Dallas. That's when I moved up here to Columbus. And that, that's it was the biggest thing that I could have done for myself is just move and start over fresh. Day in the life of me now, it's kind of boring. Um, you know, I, I, I go to work, um, I do my studies with school. I come home, I watch movies, I go out with my girlfriend who's very caring and supporting and and honestly is, is my huge rock with what I have now. She keeps me very grounded and, and motivated to be a better person, to be a better, you know, boyfriend, a better man, a better, you know, just individual in general. I've not ever been more proud of a person in my life. <laughs> right off the bat, Dom was very honest about um, everything that had kind of happened in his past. He talked about, you know, being in recovery and no matter what situation he gets put in, he always overcomes it. Um, and that's with life, with family, you know, even in our relationship, his determination is definitely there. Currently right now, I'm going to school to become a drug counselor. Uh, so I, I'm on the verge of achieving my bachelor's degree in psychology with a concentration in drug and alcohol addiction. The first couple of years were, were kind of hard because you're just getting to the grind of you know, going back to school, not only going back to school, but learning how to go to school and learning how to study again. And not only that, but you know, keeping you know, your new outlook on life going. Uh, when I first moved here, I would go to NA meetings at least once a week just to kind of keep what I learned from Desert Hope um, you know, instilled into me. Uh, have a support system, have a support group, you know, try to keep good positive people around me that, you know, know where I've come from and know where I'm at right now. You know, if he's having a bad day or he was having a rough day and he'd swing over to the house, um, we just kind of chit chat and be that open ear for him to that somebody that can listen, you know, um, and kind of gel together keep his head straight as a friend. You see people that are like, oh yeah, I want to get clean, you know, but then they're easy to give up. Now Dom's pretty determined. <laughs> like, I, you know, he's, he's very much about his sobriety. You know, just try to live life one day at a time because, you know, you don't know when it's going to end and you just want to make sure that you're as happy as possible in, in the meantime. Well, yeah, I'm just been, uh, really excited because I have been talking to them uh, about me coming to Vegas and they seem really happy to come see me and just, you know, see where I'm at and hopefully sharing my story with other people to basically just instill hope in them.
show them that their work and their efforts in me, you know, pushed me to be where I'm at now. For any recovering person, it really just, it is about their perseverance and their dedication and their motivation to change who they are really after they leave treatment. It's so easy for folks to fall in line and follow the rules and do their guided recovery while they're in treatment. But when they go home, did they take any of that with them? And Dominic, over a period of time, has successfully changed his life and for the better. When people see where you've come when you moved to get clean and where you are now, you know, I get, I get messages on Facebook like, hey, you know, you're really an inspiration. I see that you're really trying. Like, you know, good for you. You know, I hope everything's working out. Um, I see that you're actually really doing it. You know, some people don't get that chance to do that. My hope for Dominic is that he take, uh, you know, what he's been given so freely and he continues to help people. And I know he will do that. So I, I say that's a hope for me, but it's really a reality because he's doing that right now. After all that he's been through in his life, to take that with him so he can reach out to other people that need help. And I believe he can do it. I used to tell him if you could only see you through my eyes, he is going to make a mark in this industry. It was in his blood to be in this field. I, I fully believe that. And, and for all of us who work in this field, we don't choose this field, it chooses us. I, I think he would be a tremendous asset, you know, as a counselor, whatever, you know, the type of job that he chooses. I think that if anybody needs help out there with their sobriety, Dom would be definitely somebody that they can call. It's like, I just want the best for him, and I know that he's an awesome person and will go far in life. He is uh, willing to go the extra mile, even if someone doesn't need anything from him. He, he just is the perfect person to enter this field to do the work that I know he's getting ready to do because I've been there. He's determined. It's been such a long time. Oh, look at you. <laughs> so happy to see you. You look great. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a real long time. You know, that's what I want to do. I want to make a difference in the world. She didn't recognize you. Did you get her? How are you doing? Oh, you look very pretty. <laughs> <laughs>